My father's always had a great passion for education, and creating the MAP Center at the Boston Public Library was the best way for him to recognize the importance of education to him, the importance of Boston, the public nature of the library, and ensuring that the maps would be here forever and available for education. This MAP Center means so much to so many different people. For young people, it's, a, it's an opportunity to explore and learn, uh, learn about the history of the world, learn about the history of their state and their city. This is such an important resource, and this is such an important place in our city. These young people are future leaders, if we give them that opportunity. Many of our young people today need more encouragement, need more shaping, and the best investment we can make is in a young person's future. The students of Boston Public Schools are rich in diversity, culturally, linguistically, racially. We are truly a global city. Education is critical. I mean, there's routine things like counting to seven or the alphabet and what, what the state capitals are, but there are things that are active. And I think that's what the Leventhal Map Center is about. It's involved with science, history, social studies, so many disciplines combined, and it's very exciting. With addition, it goes out to schools. What a resource. The goal of the MAP Center's educational programs is to firstly to teach children how to think critically when it comes to history and geography, but secondly is to help them think about how maps and geography and history relate to other academic disciplines. The Leventhal MAP Center at the Boston Public Library is an amazing place because of our exceptional collection of maps and atlases. Kids study history and current affairs in the classroom, but our maps bring these subjects to life. Technology is critical to the mission of the Map Center. Obviously, uh, people think about the Map Center and they think about the maps on display. There's nothing better than to walk up to a 400-year-old map and experience it. With the collection now being digitized, we're able to get the maps out to anybody that wants to see them. I didn't know that. All the railroads, right? <laughs> yeah. So like that go to other parts of the country and everything. I didn't know that. I learned something new. Those are the moments that, that really mean everything. When they look at the maps, the maps to them present a truth. They've really done that deep dive on how to make maps exciting for students. My students are getting a chance to check out some maps that go back hundreds of years and some actual pieces of Boston history. There are great resources here, and it's, it's interesting how the visual images stick a lot stronger than just reading about it in an article or a textbook. You love teachers, they, they make a difference. Education's the answer. If you have an education, you work hard and you're lucky, all things being equal, you can have a good life. I think we could do much more in early education. I am delighted and sometimes overwhelmed by the progress we have made. However, I expect even more for the future.